teacher was teaching who did not have masters, but I know absolutely for me it was essential. I know this with my life, that for this one it took a master to say stop, because certainly I had met teachers and gurus who were masters, let us say, but it had to be the master that could penetrate this heart to really stop me in my tracks. And for me that was Papaji in form incarnate Papaji and I surrendered completely. I didn't surrender to his political opinions. <laughs> I didn't surrender to his lifestyle. I didn't surrender to his diet. I simply <laughs> surrendered to, to what he was offering me and mm. uh, he was ruthless in his grace and mm. his invitation. And in that, I, I discovered, uh, as I said earlier, he was life itself. I am at the surface of life and am waiting to hear, you know, what the latest instructions are, the latest uh, demands and commands are. And that, for me, is, a, is beautiful. It's not a burden. I'm not a, a slave to life. I'm a bride to <laughs> life. <laughs> And mm -hmm. I'm thrilled with that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that that's even necessary. I, I just know that's my experience and it was necessary for me. Mm -hmm. That's really all I can say. I don't know if it's universally necessary to have a, a master. I know, I know it was a blessing too. I mean, Papaji said in one of his interviews once, uh, no teacher, no teaching, mm -hmm. and no student. Mm -hmm. mm. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I would say we're all students of this. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just sitting in different places, mm. still, mm. still learning, mm. if even learning is the right word, still mm. being um, tossed and tumbled and mm. elevated mm. and thrown down and opened. Mm. Because life is the Sadhguru. Mm. And uh, mm. for me, Papaji was life. He was mm. uncontrollable. And Mm. unpredictable and undeniably what was alive in my heart. Mm. We've all had that experience throughout time. We've had moments mm. of this perfect peace, perfect understanding, and how is it possible then? And it seems to me it's because we try to keep it. We try to make it our own. Mm. And so what I advise people to do is just immediately lose it again, <laughs> lose it fully and completely, and mm. see what's here. How did they destroy their mind? Well, when people say that to me, I say, but if you destroy the mind, what's left is the murderer. <laughs> 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 mm. Because really, that very concept, you have to destroy the mind, is still a concept of war. Really, I invite people into the difference in destroying anything and losing everything. Don't destroy anything. Just lose everything. Lose the destroyer, lose the destroyed, the destroyable.